Alberta tested, Alberta true. Budweiser presents Alberta Made. Proudly brewed here since 1980. I grew up in southern Alberta. Our family farm is outside of Tabor and our ancestral ranch is near Cardston. I thought until recently that I was a fourth generation Albertan because both my great grandfathers came up from Utah and Nevada, but I recently found out that I'm actually a sixth generation Albertan because I've got a triple great grandpa who worked on the Cochrane Ranch in the 1800s. It gives you a real strong sense of, of rootedness. I love to travel, I love seeing the world, and I love the city, and I love Europe and I love all kinds of things, but it feels really good to come home, see the Rockies. The majority of my songs are written from the perspective of, of the West and, and my background and my culture and my ancestry. So it's pretty intimate for me because I deal with it on a, on a daily basis in terms of writing. Even songs that aren't about Western themes or cowboy stuff, the, the settings are often frontiersy Western settings. I, it's just sort of my default position. Yeah, I mean, I, I think growing up here has influenced my career for sure because that's what I write about. And so they're, they're sort of instant, they're linked, I can't really separate them. I think if you're expressing yourself honestly and authentically as an artist, no matter what your background is, if you're owning it, people get that. When it came to the future, I never gave it a thought. My parents drilled it into my head and my brother and sister's heads that you've got to work hard. I don't have enough fun. It's like I do a lot of cool stuff, but i got to go, go, go all the time. So. But that's mom and dad's fault. Probably my favorite spot in Alberta is the family ranch near Carson. That's kind of ground zero for me. There's a mountain there called Old Chief Mountain. It's a kind of a squared off looking thing and it dominates the landscape. Whatever lens you choose to view spirituality through, there's something about that piece of landscape that's very sacred and speaks to a lot of different people. Yeah, I won some day money riding steers here in the 80s when I was a kid. That was a pretty big deal for me. I've still got the check from the Stampede Association for like $32 or something. The first thing that comes to mind in terms of resilience for me were the floods here in 13. The whole Stampede grounds are underwater and the Stampede Association launched a campaign called Come Hell or High Water and they were able to put the Stampede on without any government support or bailouts or anything, they just put their noses to the grindstone. It became a matter of sort of civic pride to make sure that Stampede went on, and it did. Being a, from Alberta is important to me just because it's, it's, it's me. Like, I mean, I, both sides of the family for 100 years are from here. We were here before it was even a province, so it's, I mean, I, it's just my reality. <laughs> I'm Corb Lund and I'm Alberta Made. <laughs>